Hey guys, Surf here. Welcome to tonight's stream. Beginning of the week, Monday. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. Uh, for those of you that enjoy f American football, uh, hopefully you had a good Super Bowl event, viewing party, slash hanging out. Um, so, tonight we are going to do some more rank play. Uh, we are currently rank 5. So hopefully we get some wins tonight and we gain some rank. So that is the plan. So let's get to it. All right, rank five. Secret Paladin, let's go. Paladin versus Druid. Slimch. Slimch. So I think I'll keep the true silver champion um, and the mini bot, and we'll throw back the challenger and Tyrion. Alright, that's a pretty good exchange. Pretty good. Alright, we'll probably start with the secret keeper. And um I'll never tell. We'll just leave it at that. He has turn two, so he either wraths for two or he hero hero powers. That's fine. So let's go ahead and um pop out the mini bot and then we'll coin out the secret. So we picked up the uh, Haunted Creeper. Um, I was thinking about coining on turn three the True Silver Champion, but now that we have the Haunted Creeper, probably play that on turn three. Drop the uh, creeper right in between them. <laughs> the creeper between them. Weapons ready. Go face with the uh, secret keeper and the mini bot. All right, he plays pile of the shredder. Alright, so I think here we can, um... We can play True Silver Champion here and uh, swing into a Shredder. Does it matter? Yeah, because our, our highest attack is only a 2, so I'd like to uh, weaken his Shredder. For justice. See who we get. Alright, we got a Puddle Stomper, which, um... We will probably trade in our mini bot for that. <laughs> so if we leave the uh, puddle stumper alone, he'll probably trade into my secret keeper, and secret keeper has a potential to grow. So let's uh, let's trade in the mini bot to his puddle stumper. Azure Drake, which is fine. Uh, that dies to uh, True Silver Champion. For justice. All right. So here's the reason we kept Secret Keeper on the board. We just drew a secret. So I'm think I think I'll play Noble Sacrifice and play Muster for Battle. He might have Swipe, but um, okay. We play Noble Sacrifice. We become a three-three. Well, actually, no, we don't play Muster for Battle, so... Alright, playing Noble Sacrifice brings our Secret Keeper to a 3-3. Three, three. 
If we play most of her battle, he's definitely going to swipe the Secret Keeper. But if we leave just the Secret Keeper with a Haunted Creeper and then summon a dude, then uh, it's not as a good swipe for him. <laughs> so we'll do that. We'll save Muster. Alright, he plays Emperor. Alright, so I think we still play um, Mysterious Challenger and then we just trade into the Emperor. We can't afford to have him keep discounting cards. He currently has seven cards in hand, so we don't want him to get double discount. Um, when we trade in our minions, though, it's fine because uh, we, we'll end up with two creepers. I so let's go ahead and uh, start trading. <laughs> So if we attack face, we bring it down to 11 with our mysterious challenger. Now he'll probably um, force of nature into it. 5, 11, 6. I wonder. 6. I move quickly. Actually, I think I'm going to go face here. Who am I? I'm going to try to end this. See if we can end this. So I'm gonna bring him down to 11. I have secret um, Mr. Challenger on the board. He's forced to use Force of Nature now to break it. All right, there's the Force of Nature. There's the Savage Roar. So I think by doing this, we um, bring out an early combo. Which saves us for later. I think. I think that's. I think that's the right play here. All right. Good. So if Avenge fell on the haunted creeper. That means there's no BGH targets on board. So he's down to nine. So we have seven on board. Oh man. Alright, so we have seven on the board. Five from the Creeper, two from the Silver Recruit. He has nine. Um, I just pulled Juggler with Muster for battle. So we have potential of hitting him with two knives. So we are going to go for this, man. So we have four chances to hit two knives in the face. And then we have a weapon, so we only need to hit him once, actually. Got him. Got him! Double juggles to the face! Alright, so the uh, leaving the Emperor on the board paid off there. Uh, it was a little risky play because he was able to uh, get two turns of discount on his cards, but I figured that uh, he was low enough that we could probably pull something off. Got lucky. I guess I guess that was a little bit of luck there. Alright. Let's keep going. Yeah, because I think if I traded my board into his Emperor, that would have been the disastrous Force of Nature combo on my my part. I would have, I mean, he would have he would have took over the board. I will fight with honor. All right, we got Paladin versus Warrior, King Zhao. So, I actually started the day at rank seven, and within the last hour hour and a half I went on a, a bit on probably like a five or six game winning streak so I'm not sure if that affects anything but I'm currently ranked uh, matched up against a rank three so I, I don't know if uh, going on a pretty good streak on the ladder puts you up against other people of higher rank I, I don't know but uh, interesting so warrior 
think we just want to fight for early board control here. So, um, I'm going to keep a uh, mini bot and the old keeper of Oldemon. Throw back Shredder and Competitive Spirit. Got Avenge and Coghammer. Alright, just pulled Knife Juggler, so let's go ahead and play Mini Bot. Uh, Mini Bot's more resilient to his um, his uh, Win Axe, so let's play Mini Bot. If you play Juggler, Juggler will probably just die. Armor's up. So I think we risk it now. We played the juggler. If he has the axe, that leaves one, one mana. Put this apple on your head. Weapon ready. Job done. So if he pulls the axe, um, I think that should leave him at one mana. All right, he plays shield block. All right, surprising. He doesn't have an axe. Interesting. I think I uh, summon a dude here and play um, Avenge. I don't think I cog hammer yet. Um, cog hammer would be if he plays something on the board, then I'd like to take a swing at it. But since there's nothing on the board for him, I'll just summon a dude and play Avenge. Reporting for duty. That way we get that uh, juggle value. There's the axe, he just drew it. Bye bye juggler. We got Avenge, so let's see who gets who gets the Avenge buff. Alright, dude dude gets the Avenge buff. Armor's up. So this is actually a good cog hammer turn now. Cog hammer to protect. Um uh, well, I don't know who'll get it, but I think Cog Hammer Noble Sack's pretty good here. Noble Sack will eat up a charge of his um, weapon. Mm. Keeper Ultimate would be okay, but it's only a buff of plus one, plus one on the mini bot. So let's do a uh, Cog Hammer with the uh, Noble Sack. Alright, nice. We got uh, both guys with the bubbles. Battle. Bubble Divine Shield now. For justice. So he hasn't played any minions yet. Do you have the artifact? Alright, control warrior. I think we just put the shredder and go face. The battle. Weapon ready. So, so we summon Shredder and go face, bring him down to twelve. Job done. Elise will trigger the secret. Get down! My taunt guy still has his bubble, so he still has to take... He could swing into it, but he'll take 4 points of damage and not I kill it. Alright, shield made in for 5 armor, so it's like, oh, he doesn't swing in. Alright, so I think we play Mysterious Challenger here. So we have 8, 10, 12 Mysterious Challenger and just go face here, man. Who am I? None of your business. The battle. Weapon ready. All right. So, do we bring him down to five? Is the question here. No, I think we hold the weapon, just in case. Bring him. I don't think bring him down to five makes a big difference from currently a seven. Alright, a 
revenge on the mini bot. Redemption on the dude. He's down to three. Does he have brawl or something? Bash. Alright, bash for three on the shredder. He gains three armor. He's at six right now. Probably armor up to eight. Alright, shield slam. Taking out Mysterious Challenger with Elise. Alright, so he's down, he's, he'll be at 8, but uh, with Competitive Spirit, it's game over. Yeah, Competitive Spirit. Well, even without Competitive Spirit, we're already at 8. good yeah I think that was just a bad draw for him he must have drew, drew a bunch of like six seven eight nine mana cards because he, he didn't really have an early game I think that's the thing with playing control decks right you you run into the chance of uh, pulling all your high mana cards versus Jane. you asked for it I will fight with honor All right, we got Paladin versus Mage, Pablo Escobar. So I remember that name. I think I played him before, uh, although I don't remember if he runs Tempo or, or Freeze. So that's too bad for me that I don't remember. Um, I'm going to keep True Silver Champion. I think it's uh, for both Tempo Mage, it's good for the Flame Waker. And I think it's decent for um, Doomsayer turn. So I'm going to keep True Silver. Alder Peacekeeper, though. Um, I think I keep it just in case uh, Mana Worm goes nuts, and it's a 3 drop, so at least we have something to play on a turn 3. Alright, nice, we pulled a 1 drop. Alright, well, we pulled a 2, so we currently have a 1, 2, 3, 4 now, so it's good for us. We'll start with Secret Keeper. I'll never tell. Job done. All right, he coins out some mad scientist. Someday I'll be just like you. Guy right, coins out the apprentice with an arcane blast. Arcane blast. All right, so um, temple mage confirmed. We'll summon shielded minibot and hopefully we could take out his apprentice. So good good news is uh, he had coin, but wasn't able to do. Um, Start with Mana Worm Coin. Uh, he just played Arcade Intellect, so that means he doesn't have much cards. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and trade trade into the Apprentice. So his turn three is potentially the uh, Flame Waker. So okay, I think I want to save my. Keeper, Aldor Peacekeeper here, and play uh, summon a dude and noble sack. No, because he'll. Mm. Yeah, actually, that's fine. Because if he pings it with his hero power, that means he doesn't summon. Or should I play the tempo Aldor Peacekeeper? Yeah, let's play Aldor Peacekeeper. Put a three-three on the board. Maybe we'll, we'll draw Frostbolt out, and we could always do the noble sack next turn. Follow the rule. So that puts us. Uh, Five damage on the board for us. Let's see what he plays. Alright, there goes the Flame Waker. Flame Waker solo, which is good. So we kept the uh, True Silver Champion just for that. And now we're going to do um, True Silver to his Flame Waker. And we're just going to do five points of damage here. Last warning. So I think it was a good play putting the Altar Peacekeeper, even though there's no target. 
is a good uh, tempo play for us. Alright, pulls out the shredder. Alright, so we have options here. So I think um, I might swing into a shredder with the true silver. Play muster with noble and competitive instead of the uh, belcher. I wonder. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, swing into a shredder first and see what we get. All right, mana attic. We'll uh, go ahead and kill that. Warning. Weapon. All right, and then we'll go, go ahead and do our plan. We'll play muster and play Reporting for duty. noble sack with competitor spirit. I must move quickly. So turn five, temple mage. Do they play Lothab usually? Too early for the uh, ethereal conjurer. I think he's a uh, six. Hmm. All right, he summons another shredder. That's good for us. At this point, we just go face now. We'll put the Belcher to block his um, Shredder, and along with the Noble Sack, uh, he's in trouble. We just go face. That's going to be 4, 7, plus 6, 13. Wow, that's going to be uh, 14 total damage. We'll swing in. Drop the Belcher. And the Secret Keeper. Yeah. He had a slow start for Temple Mage. All right, man. Somebody wants to be my friend. I guess he was just wondering why we had a uh, Alder Peacekeeper in our secret pally. Alright, let's keep going, man. So, uh, currently we're on a pretty good streak here. Um, we're full full stars in rank 5. Uh, let's see if we can get into rank 4. Versus 
is Uther. I will fight with honor. I will command the light. All right, we got Paladin versus Paladin. Jimbo slice. Jimbo. So I think uh, against this Paladin versus Paladin, let's assume secret Paladin. Um, turn one drop secret keeper if they get it. If not, um, and they need to grow it by turn two. So we start with double mini bot. That's hard, hard for him to keep up with that. Uh, we don't need to keep the secrets then. Hopefully we draw a uh, three drop now. All right, we drew double fives. So we're gonna use the coin. So it's gonna be, uh, we need to find a three and a four drop soon. All right, so he didn't get a secret keeper. All right, we got our five and six locked up, but uh, we need to find still a three and a four. Start with double, uh, double mini bot. I'll never tell. All right, so he just drew a secret keeper. All right. Looks like he didn't have any secrets in hand. So we are going to play the other mini bot and kill the secret keeper before he draws some secrets. Alright, so he might have muster, but at this point muster doesn't really do anything. He could pop my shield, but that's about it. Alright, he does have master. Pulled muster uh, turn one, looks like. Alright, swings into my mini bot. Alright, good. We drew a four drop, which is fine. Uh, we play Haunted Creeper for now and go face. Weapon ready. Weapon ready. So we are going to make it painful for him to swing that Light's Justice. He's already swung in and took two, and we just gave him four more. So he either has to trade his board into our mini bots or he swings and takes another two. Alright, Kings. Yep. Alright, Kings one of the one of the one of the dudes. Swings into mini bot again, which is fine. Alright, so he chose to uh, Kings the guy and semi clear my board here all right so our options here is um we could knife juggle knife juggler and hope we take I out wonder. the five three or we could play keeper of Uldemon, buff our spider to a three three take care of his five three let be left with a three four and a one one and he'll have a a sword and a one one so i think that's a better play because we get rid of the five three for sure get get rid of his let kinks we have a solid turn five coming up so let's do that uh juggles are nice but we, we need to make sure we land those juggles and that's going to be tough none may steal our secrets I must move quickly. <laughs> all right so he has a lights justice with a dude we have a three four and a one one Let's see who what his turn five is. Let me Please be a shredder. Right, drop the shredder. That's good. And a secret though. Hmm. All right, so he clears our board. Um, so I think at this point we leave the shredder alone. We try to go face with the uh, keeper and see what we get. Not in my house. All right, the secret's probably avenge or competitive spirit here, maybe redemption. But avenge most likely since they run since secret paladins run two copies, most likely an avenge. Um, we don't play Lotheb then. We play uh, the sludge. So uh, if it's competitive spirit, he breaks through our sludge belcher. If not, he has to swing and trade his shredder in. So sludge belcher is good here, unless it's repentance. If it's repentance, we're, we're in trouble. 
Alright, not repentance. Still think it's a venge. Alright, turn six for him. Let's see if he has the MC. Alright, he'll swing into Belcher. Alright, he's down to 15. Cog hammers. That's a good play. Cog hammer keeps the um, keeps the shredder at full health. Put this apple on your and then he summons the juggler. All right, I think we just here. We just um, hmm. Okay, we know it's probably Avenger Redemption. So if I attack, I wonder. And he has a weapon. So I think at this point we just play MC and uh, pass. And the next turn we'll deal with. Um, yeah, we just play MC and uh, pass. Who am I? None of your business. So I don't think it's worth av activating Avenge or Redemption for now. So let's just play uh, this and pass. We'll see how he responds. Alright, response with Belcher. And a mini bot. Belcher and a mini bot. Does he swing in? Alright, he's gonna swing in. Alright, event goes off on our Uldaman. He's not gonna be a uh Six six, wow! That's six six. It's pretty powerful. All right, he traded the shredder in. All right, we're looking good here. All right, so our two options is we can knife juggler, knife juggler for two. Noble Sack, three, I summon wonder. a dude, but that doesn't really do anything. Or we can Consecrate, and that will actually, four, five, six, seven. If we Consecrate, um, clears half his board, and then we'll see where the Avenge lands. So in that case, actually, um, possible re possible redemption, so let's kill his Let Belcher first. Think. Stop asking questions. Yeah, we swing on his Belcher first. Move quickly. And then we'll consecrate. Alright, it is a bench. Not in my house. Ah, oh, missed an attack. Too slow, man. I missed an attack. Should have been she should be at one right now. Well, good thing he didn't have Tyrion. So that would have been bad. Oh man, got to They should have been dead right now. Oh man, that was, that could have been bad. All right, rank four, guys. Four. All right. All right, that's currently our best this season so far, rank four. Going, man. Uther versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. I will fight with honor. Alright, we got Paladin versus Druid, Brandonito. So against the Druid, um 
think we just throw back the Belcher, right? We keep Keeper and uh, Creeper. <laughs> Keeper, Creeper, or Shredder, and Belcher. Wow. Jeez, the names are like all Earths. We got the Keeper, the Creeper, the Shredder, the Belcher. But yeah, I think we keep the one and the two. Shredder could possibly become a three drop for us. Uh, we don't need a Belcher. Double sack though, huh? Yeah, interesting. I don't think we play it yet. Does he have living roots? Alright, well, whether he does or not, he, does, he didn't play it. So let's play Secret Keeper. Again. We'll leave Secret Keeper unbuffed right now. So my theory is that at turn two, the druid could use his wrath. Um, he's going to use the three points of wrath. If we buff up the secret keeper, then that gives him even more reason to use it. And if we leave it at two, he's tempted to just hero power it. So I like to leave it unbuffed at one, two until uh, turn two. Then we start thinking about what we want to do. All right, so there's the wrath. Yep. So it's fine that he did it. Um, Sometimes they get greedy and they only play, uh, they only do the one and try to get the card, which is fine. Alright, so we play Haunted Creeper. Alright, the shade. The shade. So I think this time we uh, coin out the Shredder now. You could probably pull the Shade out of hiding. Places on Shredder. And he passes. Alright, so our options are we could all our peacekeeper is Shredder and just ignore it. Or we could cog hammer and hope that it lands on our shredder. Let me think. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's cog hammer and hope if it lands on our shredder, that's gonna be huge. I mean, if we Aldor Peacekeeper right now, he'll be a 1-3. We would just ignore it. Yeah, let's Cog Hammer. Come on, Shredder! Oh! Alright. So it landed on the uh, Spider. Uh, we can still do it. Let's let's kill the Shredder. For justice! Alright, so he got something that doesn't move. So if it landed on my Shredder, I was going to um, Redemption, but since it landed on um, the Spider, I'm just going to Noble Sack. Alright, so he could potentially silence the uh, Ancient Guardian though, with his Keeper of the Groves. We'll see. We'll see how he wants to play this. He could potentially Where use it shall I to his advantage. Alright, he placed the Druid of the Claw. Alright, that's good for us, because then now we could um, Peacekeeper it down to 1-6. Uh, it's still going to take most of our force to uh, attack into it, but it's fine. Let's summon the Peacekeeper. Bring it down. Alright, Druid of the Claw down to 1-6. Shredder into it. And we'll swing into it. Go face. Alright, I think at this point we play Secret Keeper with Redemption. Turn 6 is coming up for him. Probably Emperor, so we want as many minions on the board to uh, 
to be able to do some damage here. So let's play Secret Keeper with Redemption. Bring it up to a 2-3. So right now we have a... Uh, an un I wouldn't call it unswipable board, but a board that's hard to swipe because it's not easy to decide who you want to hit. Although his shade's grown, grown to a 5-5 five five now. So we still need, we still keep in mind we have Noble Sack, right? So he still needs to use a hero power if he wants to trigger it. Hmm, Alright, there goes the Keeper of the Grove. Alright, he silences his um, Ancient Guardian, triggers Noble Sack. Redemption triggers. Shade attacks. And now he swings into my... Oh man. Alright, so we have 2, 6, 9, 11, 13 on the board. He has 11. If he combos with the roar, 11 plus 8, that's 19 only. No if he has double roar, we're dead. But we have 2, 6, 9, 11, 4, 13, brings out to 10. 7, 8, 19, nah. We can't attack face yet. Um, For justice! Let's let's clear the board. We don't we don't want to get um comboed here. Alright, so we're both I just took him down to 20 life points, but we were both at 23, but I have, looks like board control, but he has card advantage. He has five cards, I have one. Um, so, looks like it might be an Ancient of Lore turn. What to do? Could be Boom also. Yep, there's boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we only pulled the mini bot. Alright, we, we need to kill, clear off his uh, bombs. Reporting for duty. The battle. Let's go face <laughs> first. We're not gonna touch boom. We're gonna let let him decide to uh, trigger the the trap with his um. Woohoo! Good thing the bomb didn't kill him. Put the mini bot right in the middle. So he, he's only used one keeper to grove. So we're going to have to um, take a chance. Hmm. Swipe. All right, there's the swipe. the shade getting me ready for a uh, turn nine combo Let me think. 
Okay, question is Tyrion? Or Keeper of Uldamon, boom down. Let me think. I think Tyrion, we go for the um Actually no, Keeper Uldamon's fine. None may steal our secrets. Boom's dangerous. We need to get rid of Boom. Reporting for Weapons ready. I shot. Close game. It feels close. I don't know if he thinks. All right. So I don't know if he had the combo or not, man. That's always a thing. You always gotta watch out for combo, but. All right. Now we're forced to play uh, Tyrion. Put your faith in the light. All right. If he has keeper. If he doesn't, uh... all right. Pull that card pretty fast. Savage Roar. Looks like he just wants to break through. Ooh, Consecrate doesn't do anything for us here. that prevent the combo well he can still roar so he's at 12 swinging will bring him down to 7 but he could armor up go up back to 8 yeah so I need to kill the shade we don't want the shade growing Reporting for duty. All right, down to nine. He's up. He's to twelve. He has. He's at twelve. I'm at nine. Lothab gave us a turn. Hopefully. All right, plays a shredder, which is good for us. Oh, he attacks Lothab. Goes down to eight. Oh my gosh, we just won! Woo! None may steal our secrets for justice. Keeper Uldaman, buff up our dude to a 3 3, plus the sword, that's 8 points of damage. Well played. Oh, that was a close game. I wonder what he had in his hand, man, but. Ooh. I don't know if I would have attacked into Lothab there, man. I don't know. Yeah, because if he, if he would have cleared my dude out and left Lothab up, I don't think I would have had enough, right? 5-5-10? Five, five, yeah, because he... Yeah, man, I don't think I would have had enough. Well, I had Consecrate too. Actually, let me see if I would have had enough. So he had 12 life points. Um, if he would have just took up my recruit, he would have still been at 12. I would have been left with Lothab and Sword. Oh, I would have had it. Okay, so Lothab would have did 5, my Sword would have did 5, and Consecrate would have did 2. So, okay. Either way, we had it. Alright. Let's do maybe uh, one or two more games here. Paladin versus Priest, Arconan, Arconan. 
All right, so Priest has been a tough matchup for me. Um, I'm tempted to keep Avenge just because I need that buff early on. So I've been having a hard time with like the Death Lords and all the uh, Entombing, <laughs> Light Bomb. So I haven't figured, quite figured out like a, a consistent way to win against them. So typically it's kind of slow, so I think I'm going to keep MC here. Well, no, I think I'm, I want to keep the early pressure. I'll keep Avenge. Throw back MC. Alright, that didn't really help. Well, Uldamon helps. Keeper of Uldamon helps. Alright, we drew MC back. Alright, so I think if we, if we pick up a, um, a 2 and a 3, and possibly the true silver we might be in a good good spot is someone injured noble sack can't play noble sack here can't even play if we summon a dude he gets a card noble sack he gets a card so we just pass Shield. There's the chow. There's the chow. Hmm. All right, now, now with Avenge on the ready, we can now summon a dude and play Noble Sack because Avenge will now trigger. Reporting for duty. So now he could attack, draw a card, but at least we 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 have something that might be might stay on the board now. So I think now it's worth it. I must consider. Valence, shield again. All right, so really buffing him up. Wow, he didn't attack. Interesting. So we can't really consecrate. Doesn't accomplish much. Mm. We could play keeper of Uldaman. Um, Buff up our guy to a 3-3. Three, three. And probably just go face with it. Or the other play is summon a dude and play competitive spirit. I wonder. That's actually pretty weak. I was trying to keep Kiefer Uldamon for his death lord, but he hasn't played it, so he might not have it. None may steal our secrets. So Let's move quickly. I think we just go face here. The battle. Well, no, I think we could trade into the Chow. So I think now he has to heal the Chow first, or maybe Holy Nova. No, Holy Nova is five mana, right? I think it's five mana. Yeah, five mana, Holy Nova. So I think he has to use two mana here and heal up. Alright, the trap gets triggered. Somebody gets Avenge. Alright, Avenge on the dude. Which is good because he only had one hit point. Now he's a six three. All right, there goes villains, right? All right, now he's a four six. Wow, it's pretty strong. Man. It's pretty strong. Oh, he, does he have light of Naru, or is he gonna coin a heal? 
Flashio. The chow is four eight. Wow. So we could consecrate here, no? There's no point in consecrating, right? Consecrate, we could kill the chow, which I don't think that's worth it. Well he has villains on him. Let me think. I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade or attack, recruit into um, this cleric. I'll be a 6-2 and play uh, competitive spirit and summon a dude and get ready for MC next turn. The battle. This way it, it, it prevents him from drawing a card. Not gonna play redemption because don't really want to rede redeem one of the dudes. Is someone injured? Yeah, he had, he had another cleric. Wow, that chow, man. He's drawing a ton of cards. Oh, uh-oh. Two chows now. Uh-oh. Alright, we're at 2-2. Two, two. We command a spirit. Let's go ahead and play Mysterious Challenger. Draw out all the... Well, we only have two secrets left in the deck. So maybe it's worth doing a uh, Consecrate here. Consecrate, kill the uh, cleric. Let me think. And summon a dude. It's not good. It's turn six. He's at twenty-eight. I'm Let at twenty-nine. So he's totally uh, winning this war of attrition here, and he just stole my dude. So I think now we just play uh, MC. I mean, we play MC because he's gonna have in too many way. Who am I? None of your business. Let's play redemption. Yeah, tough ma tough matchup for us, man, is the uh Entomb Priest. I think the only way I've won this in the past was like really good starting hand and just they were not able to catch up. Embrace but I think my record's pretty bad against them. Chows, man, the Chow combo. Oh, good night, Chow combo is fierce. Look at that, ten points of damage. Oof. That was sick, man. That was sick. All right, so he didn't need to entomb, which means he could still entomb my Tyrion. I think we have to play Tyrion here. We risk entombment, but... I mean, our other play would be Keeper of Uldemond. It's kind of weak, though, because it doesn't really have any follow-up with it. Keeper of Uldemond and a Consecrate doesn't do anything. Let mini bot. Some of the mini bot doesn't do anything. Well, mini bot could actually potentially... 
Yeah, Minibot could actually weaken the field. Minibot with the uh, Keeper of Ultimon here. So we could potentially weaken him up, set him up for a... Um, we could set him up for a Consecrate next turn. So let's see. Let's see if we can set this up. Two, seven cards. That's a lot of options. Welcome to the grand tournament. Oh champion. man, four points of damage now. Wow. All right, it's good. So, uh. Minibot into Akanai doesn't kill him, but Minibot into Justicar kills him, but at least we save six points of damage to our face. Weapon so ready. let's bring him down to one. And then we'll play Consecrate with Lothab. That four points of uh, damage heal is still pretty uh, pretty tough for us. That's gonna hurt. Death does not scare me. Oh, there's the death lord. Death does not scare there's me. the other death lord, and he's just gonna go face. Man, tough, tough, tough. All right, we just play Tyrion here and just uh, nothing else to do. Tyrion and the dude. Your faith in the light. We start trying to chip away with uh, Lothab. But um, I'm fully, fully expecting a, a Entomb on uh, Tyrion here. So that's 5, 7, 11. Yeah, that's game. If he Entombs, we're done. Yup. Victory is yours. Yep. We weren't even we weren't we didn't even put him under pressure, man. Alright, well, the winning streak ends. Pretty good streak though. Um I think I won like I don't know man. Ten games in a row or something. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright guys, going to end the stream right there. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. We focused on rank play solely tonight with the Secret Paladin deck. Um, prior to the stream, I had we were rank 7 and I had gone on a pretty good streak and got us to rank 5 on stream. Um, we went from rank 5 all the way down to rank 4, so we were on a pretty good winning streak. Uh, we finally ran into a um, a brick wall, the Entomb Priest, and uh, we weren't even close, didn't even uh, put him under pressure, and that gave us that first loss in a while, but not a big deal, we're currently ranked 4, we're just gonna, it's an improvement from where we started, it's currently the highest rank we've achieved so far, and uh, we're gonna keep keep going the uh, rest of the week, rest of the month, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. All right, so uh, we will see you probably uh, middle of the week, uh, Wednesday. All right, all right. Have a good rest of the week. Be good. Be safe. And have fun. Uh, take care, and uh, see ya.